good evening on a Wednesday night, and welcome to this 2017 All-Star break coverage of everything MLB. Tonight I'm going to be breaking down everything you guys need to know as we move forward in the MLB season, and I'm also going to be sharing some opinions of what teams have chances or not to succeed in the second half of this year and find themselves in October. So, I'll break it, I'll do a, a lot of stuff, but first I'll start going down the teams, I'll break it down by division. So, of course, we start up top in the AL East, where the Red Sox currently lead the Yankees over here by a game, I mean, three and a half games. Um, I don't think a team other than the Yankees or Red Sox will win the division. The Orioles over here, who were, had a great start to the year, but then struggled. Um, I'm a big Yankees fan. Everything is Yankees here. And, um, the Yankees and Red Sox have a huge four-game series at Fenway Park right after the All-Star break this weekend. July 14th to um, 16th. It's four games in three days. Um, and all four games will be on national TV in that series, so you don't want to miss it. Um, Friday is at on MLB Network. Saturday is on FS1. Sunday afternoon is on TBS, and Sunday night is on ESPN. But I think that... Um, this series means everything for my Yankees here. They get a four-game sweep. They were sweep. They ride in the first place with huge confidence, and that's huge. I think they're when they get their players back, they can succeed. But I still think the Red Sox have an advantage on that division. And then there's the Rays, who just don't go away. I read an article. Chris Ar Archer, their starter, even said um, he, they want to win this division. They think they can do it. I don't think they will, but they don't. There's that wild card that they actually are tied with the Yankees in second place in the East and the wild card right now. They hold it. And um, there's a bunch of teams in the mix for that. And the Orioles, you know, they don't have any injuries stuff. But um, they... The O's and the J's, I think the J's have a better shot, um, but at that wild card, or even the division, because nobody's opened it up, um, I think that the J's might have a better shot. I like these O's, though. just always like the Orioles. But, that's the at least we move into the Central, where the Cleveland Indians are coming off of... Um, being, like, oh so close to a world championship last year. They were up 3-1 in the World Series. They ended up losing games 7 and 10 innings. Um, they're going to take the division. They finally started playing good baseball. They're around 500 all year, but they, they haven't blown it open yet. But they will. I, I say they'll win by, like, five, six games, but in that division they have the Royals, and they have the Twins who, like the Rays, no one expected them to be close, they just don't go away though. They were actually going first for a bit, and they um, are within a game or two in the wild card. And I say the Royals have a sh better shot than the Twins. The Royals definitely are going to make a push to get into that wild card. I would imagine that the Yankees will be in the wild card game against, there's a list of teams, Mariners, Rangers, Royals, Rays, um, Indians, Orioles, Blue Jays, Rays, uh, Twins, <laughs> I said some of them twice. And then there's the Tigers and the White Sox. No offense, but they're not going to do it. These White Sox, there's a random team that's probably going to finish, what, 90, 70 and 92? 72 and 90? Something like that. 
just not a playoff team. The Tigers and their recent struggles, um, no. No, not a playoff team. In the West, um, there is the, um, thing team. There's the Astros who pulled away with it, like, so early. They're just so good this year. And they don't stop, so the Astros, and then there's some t three teams in the mix for that wild card. A's are far out of it now, but there's the, um, team, the Mariners, the Rangers, and the Angels. The Angels, um, did their job to stay around 500 till Trout comes back. Now they can start winning and push into that wild card spot. The Mariners, I don't think, but who knows. Rangers, I thought they would be better, but they haven't. So that's great. Um, I don't think they will make it now. Even though they've been in the playoffs so much. They've won the West the last two years. And then we move into the National League where the Nats have dominated the NL East. So they're going to win the NL East with ease. No one else is in really contention in that division. Um, in the Central, there's the... Um, what's happening? Um, the surprising Milwaukee Brewers. I, a couple of weeks or two, a week or two ago, I would have said definitely Cubs. Brewers are eventually going to stop, but now Cubs haven't been good. I watched the one Cubs game on Fox Saturday the other night, and there's some spots that they're missing. And the Brewers, my Yankees just played the Brewers, stole two out of three at Yankee Stadium. And the Brewers look like they might actually be for real here. They now have a four and a half game lead. It was like about, they had like a one game lead-ish most of the year. But now they've opened it up a bit. I think they're going to actually do it now. In the West, the West is interesting. The Giants simply forgot how to win this year. They're the worst team. Well, I think the Phillies are, but the Giants have been awful. The Dodgers have been so hot recently, so they're going to win the division, but, I mean, this National League is a lot more simpler than the American League. Like, I can tell you that the wild card game will be Diamondbacks versus Rockies. I can't tell you what field, because that's, we cannot tell yet, at all. But, those are definitely going to be the two teams. So that covers the divisions. Looking at um, the wild cards, as I, I pretty much already broke this down, but in the American League, it's um, it's up for grabs, totally. And at least one of the teams in the East is gonna make it. I'd imagine that. That would be the Yankees, if I had to guess, where the Red Sox will win the division. But the Yankees are barely even in the wild card. Forget being in first. They've been playing so bad. They're 7-18 and 18 in their last 25. It's been, ever since uh, school let out for me, it's been a rough road for the Yankees. And so, haven't been able to enjoy much good Yankees baseball this summer so far. Hopefully after the break that'll change starting this weekend in Boston. That's such a huge series. Um, for both teams, Red Sox have a chance to really open it up. And the uh, um, Yankees have a chance to make it really close again, if not even take the, um, they get beat up by a half game with the sweep. And the, uh, um, yeah. In the National League, it's Rockies and the D-backs, just like the Brewers. Three really surprising teams in the National League. And then in the American League, there's the Twins and the Rays, who were both horrible last year. No one expected anything from them. Um, and now, the Twins have not gone away all year. 
rays have not gone away all year. It's to the point, if you are, um, really close to holding a playoff spot, or do hold a playoff spot at this time of year, um, you are for real. And those teams are obviously for real. They're, like, plenty above 500. They're very good teams. They're gonna make it. And, um, what else do I want to do? Um, the AL won the wild card for the fifth, uh, the, um, all-star game for the fifth straight year. And then there's my boy Aaron Judge for these Yankees who won the derby with ease. And he's just been incredible. The Yankees are still 45 and 41. They're once 38 and 23. But, um, here, I'll show you what, this was, um, I'm not sure how long ago this was, but, um, my, um, prediction for the, um, postseason. Alright, here it is. This is what I predicted the MLB would be this year. Screenshot that if you want to look at it. Um, that's the postseason predictions and the standing predictions. This was as of July 7th, so that was, um, like a series. Where, like, a series not caught up, but I wouldn't really change anything. Um, Boston and Cleveland really looks like they're going to have a rematch in the ALDS. Um... I think the wild card's going to be Kansas City is going to squeeze in um, at Yankee Stadium. But who's going to pitch for the Yankees? Um, well, the Roy Royals have a lot of surprising guys in their rotation this year, like Jason Vargas. So I think Kansas City and Houston might have an ALDS rematch from 2015. Um, and I say... Boston beats Cleveland this time around. Houston doesn't stop. Boston and Houston, that would be a good ALCS on Fox Sports 1. Houston probably win it. But who knows?